Good morning. This is India Rose with the Pearl Girls. I'm here in Shangsha Wu, China. It's in the Zhejiang province, which is probably an awful pronunciation, so I apologize. This province is basically the, the center of the culture of pearl production in China. 99% of the world's freshwater pearls come from this region, and today we're going to take a tour and learn all about this process. Here we are preparing the boat to take a ride out into the middle of the pond um, to, to examine things up close. Here we are on our boat. And Yeson is lifting up and inside there are freshwater mollusks. So here we are. The mussels have arrived. He's opening the mussels and pushing them towards the back. These women are, the, the pearls are embedded in the soft tissue, so they're actually clearing out all of the tissue and the pearls and putting them in the bowl. Here is what the inside of the mollusk looks like with the pearls inside that tissue. Those are pearls. So there, in the soft tissue, is the pearl. There he's dumping the bucket and getting ready to wash the pearls. And he's dumping them down. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It just look, it's just. Now, he's going to wash them all. So as you can see, there's still some of the muscle tissue in there. He's going to dump them. <laughs> and wash. There he is. All the different pearls. All different sizes. And there he is. And there are all the pearls. <laughs> And the treasure! That's gorgeous! These are the awesome men! Woo! Yes! 
Lisa. Oh. Okay, he's a star. Okay. <laughs> Here we are with all the mollusk shells after the meat's been taken out, after the pearls have been taken out. As you can see behind me, just a sea of these shells. They're still utilized. They process them, clean them, and mainly use them for decoration because of the great mother of pearl. Here the women are processing the mollusk shells, so they're getting the remainder of the pearls, the mother of pearl, mave pearls, out of the and then putting the shells back for later. Here they are washing the pearls, making them look bright. Here we are washing the pearls. It's another form of processing it just to make them look beautiful. Oh, there's some big ones in there. Big pearls. Okay, so here, Yeshan has just pulled out a pearl that was in there being polished. Yeah. She's looking through all of those pearls, the ones that aren't of the same color, the same size, she's pushing those out to the side. So these have already been drilled, but now they're sorting the pearls. This is a very common scene throughout the city. Just different um, locations with people just sitting there sorting the pearls. There you can see the bags and bags of pearls. And there he is, sorting them. Once the pearls are sorted, they're um, sorted according to size, assorted according to color, and then they're matched. And that's one of the hardest and most labor-intensive things to do with pearls. When they match the pearls, they'll casually string them on a string like this. Then they put their own grading system on it. As we know, pearls have no universally accepted grading system. There are seven different quality factors that you look at to grade pearls. So each company has a different system. I was working with a company yesterday that felt that surface quality was the most important. With the pearl girls, we feel like um, luster is the most important. I, I, I can spot a beautiful lustrous necklace from a mile away. So that's why it's important and imperative for us to come to these companies and look at each pearl individually to decide which is the roundest, which has the best coloring, um, which is the best size for us, and which is the best shape. Oh, you know, I love that